I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell them what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's, it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! Like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. The Hermit. Strange. This card holds no future. But there's a past that calls out to me. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Two more things I can show you. The devil, one possible future. And the hermit, a predetermined past. What'll it be? spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so.
You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Oh, but watch out. I said get off. Let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Just try to rest. I'm sorry. so much it's pretty clean from what I could tell I mean it's not bleeding but you need to see a doctor look this is all I've got left from the nurse's station Ooh, fun. you better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off we need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police yeah dead girl in the pool needs some explaining huh Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? I wonder where Caleb is.
esprit. This was so different like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... Uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a Oh, such... Such... what? Such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Uh. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit.
kiss everyone. <sighs> okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Only one left. stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Lodge. I knew it. Shut up, they're okay. <sighs> Rain must have done this.
I've never done this before, Pa. Let's do it fast. That's it. Damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Ah. 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 Hey, stop. Stop squirming. Give me the train. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Doesn't feel safe. Abby. Ryan. Killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him, and well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Oh, let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her, inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly, just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again, just 
You and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights. To harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Ma'am, this is going to get a little messy. The fuck? Max. Shut up. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well... Ah, uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. 
counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were like way closer to the camp and we're broke. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett? Wait, Hackett? Like, Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Let's go. Hey. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... The next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood, and... Stuff? Everywhere? I mean, what the fuck happened? Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. What he used to try to get you to talk? The pincher? The blade? Three-hole punch? No, it, he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on.
Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey! Let's Get go. the fuck off! Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Asshole! 